Welcome back to our channel, Say Why Chicken Thigh, and to the final results of our experimental hatch using three variables in an effort to hatch mostly or only hens. The chicks are nearing two months old and the results are in. In this final update, we'll showcase all 16 chicks, which in our best estimate consist of five roos and 11 hens. That makes our hatch 68.75% female. If you've been following along with this experiment, then you know that we hatched mostly Easter Egger and Olive Egger crosses, and as such, determining their gender without vent sexing can be a little bit of an adventure. We used a combination of ways to look for hints of gender from hatch to present day, including wing sexing, leg color, leg thickness, comb type and size, tail feather development, typical markings for each chick's mixed breeds, and their temperaments. So here they all are. So indeed, using the variables of setting around her eggs, storing hatching eggs at 40 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 hours before incubating, and maintaining an incubator temperature half a degree Fahrenheit less than typically recommended for the duration of the hatch successfully gave us a higher hatch rate of hens than roos. And though this is good news, I wouldn't do it again. 
When you're considering the results, you're obviously looking at the 16 young chickens that developed, hatched, and are growing healthy and well. But what you may not be considering are all the losses that happened along the way. Out of all of the dozens of hatches I've ever done in the past, this one was the most emotionally difficult. Since there was the highest number of chicks that hatched with spraggle leg or other deformities, and some that were so severely compromised that they died during or shortly after their hatch. And so I'll hold on to the memories of the experience and celebrate the science that supports using temperature variation to promote a higher hen hatch rate. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed our experiment. We do all kinds of quirky stuff with our beloved chickens here on our channel, and so I hope you subscribe to Say Why Chicken Thigh to see what we come up with next. Bye-bye.